What's up guys? If you saw my previous video, you'll realise that I've been working on a lighting system for a while now. I finally finished it, tying all the little bits and pieces together, and I've added voice control for my phone too. So without further ado, I'll jump straight into the demonstration. So, here's my room. I've got three lights. One's up here, one's the lamp, and then I've got some LED lights behind my screen. Here is my phone. Lights on. It's a bit bright. Dim the lights. Next one's the lamp, so... Lamp off. And then like I was saying, I've got some lights behind here, so... Screen on. So that's the sort of white colour. And the great thing about LED lights is that they can change colour. So, screen red. And you get a nice shade of red to match my wallpaper, which is nice. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. Now, as cool as voice control is, it does get kind of tiring having to bark commands into your phone all day. So what I did is I put some icons on my home screen to control each light. However, we still don't have a smart home. What we have is what I like to call a lazy home. A smart home should do things automatically, and for that we're going to need some sensors. So what I have here is a simple motion sensor pointing at my door so that when I walk in, my screen lights will turn on. At the moment, if I wave in front of it, nothing happens to the screen because it's not in automatic mode. So automatic. So now when I wave in front of it the screen lights turn on. What I've also got here is a small light sensor so that this doesn't work during the day. So if I'm sitting here working away and my phone vibrates on my bed over there I'm not going to hear it and nor will I see the little notification LED down here since the phone's over there. So what I did is link the notifications from the phone over here to the lights behind my screen. To test it out, what I'll do is I'll send myself a quick test text message. So, testing uh, notifications uh, lights. So, click send. And then when this text message comes through, the screen should start glowing. So I set it blue for text messages, green for WhatsApp messages, and red for Gmail messages. So, like I was saying at the start, this project is made up of lots of different bits and pieces. The first bit is on my phone, where I have two apps. One's called Auto Voice and one's called Tasker. I want to give a shout out to Armando Ferreira on YouTube for his awesome tutorials which taught me how to use these apps. What auto voice does is recognise my voice and when it has it passes it on to Tasker which then sends the command that I spoke to my lighting system over there. So this is the actual system itself. All it is is a bit of perf board with some components soldered in. The first one over here is the ethernet module that receives commands from the phone. In the middle here what we have is an Arduino. On the left is just some circuitry for the LED strip and I've put a little connector in here too so you can disconnect it easily. On the right hand side we have a cable going up towards the sensors near my door and we have this transmitter which transmits radio commands to either the lamp or the ceiling light. So what I have here are the two products that I use to control my ceiling light and my lamp. These go for about a fiver each on eBay and the radio signals used to control them are quite simple. So I managed to reverse engineer these myself. However, for the ceiling light, the radio signals used are a lot more complex, but thankfully I managed to find an open source library on the internet. I want to give a shout out to, I think it was Laurie Griffiths for writing this library and open sourcing it. So now that you have a rough idea of how I did it, you're probably thinking, what's next? Well, in the short term, what I can do is add more lamps, more light switches, and more wireless LED strips, like I showed in my last video. 
However, what I do want to do is start adding different types of devices. For example, I might try and reverse engineer um, some of the remotes I have in my house to be able to control things like TVs. And another thing that I'm going to do, hopefully, is try and reverse engineer this wireless thermostat um, heating control thing for our boiler. That way, I, then I can control lights, heating, and TVs as well. So, once I have all these devices on my network, in the long term what I want to do is create some sort of a web administration portal. Something similar to what wireless routers have. You can log in and view all the values and control it, etc. From there, what I want to do is add user accounts so that only certain people can access certain devices. And you can even throw in, for example, limiting device use by time of day. From there, the sky's the limit really. I mean, you could add CCTV, security features, all sorts of different things. I'd be interested to hear what anybody watching has to say, if they have any ideas or advice for me as to how I can improve this system. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon, hopefully.